everybody. I am with Cecile McLaurin Salvant, Best Jazz Vocal Album. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right, let me just start with this. The best thing about making a jazz album for you is what? Uh, the musicians, being able to communicate with the musicians, the spontaneity, the groove, the improvisation, the freedom. And is jazz the leader in terms of a style of music when it comes to improvisation? It's not the leader, but it's definitely one of the kinds of improvisation. I mean, you have improvisation all over the world, all different kinds of music, from flamenco to Senegalese music to folk music right here in the U.S. But jazz has a certain way of structuring it and codifying it that's really, really special and unique, I would say. And what is the most difficult part for you in making a record? Uh, hmm. Choosing the songs, I guess. That would be the most difficult part. Like once we've recorded it, narrowing down as well. And it's so cool. You were so young and so successful. Was jazz the music you always wanted to do? And, and on top of that, where did you grow up? I grew up in Miami, Florida. <laughs> Jazz capital of the world, of course. Yes. Um, <laughs> not really, but... And uh, it was not the music I always wanted to do. I wanted to be a classical singer. I wanted to sing in operas. And um, I wanted to be an actress and a sculptor. <laughs> so... And here you are, Grammy winner. <laughs> Best jazz album, the name is? Dreams and Daggers. And my name is Cecile McLaurin Salvant. She is beautiful, she is fantastic, and she is a Grammy winner. Thanks for hanging out with little old me tonight. Thank you. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is g Easy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.